All right, guys. So I'm I'm back to back tuning this uh, Kawhi, and I'm tuning this in the studio here with the, as you can see here. I'm gonna go back down to E3, and I'm gonna show you guys back you know, both of these. Hopefully, it's not bouncing around too much, but you can see these stop dead. These stop dead on. You've got the AccuTuner and the Tune Lab. So I'm gonna go through these. Kind of see how both of them work together. This kind of shows you the accuracy of the Tune Lab and the AccuTuner. And I've just been doing this for, you know, I've been doing this for, you know, 20 minutes down this piano. They seem to be tracking very closely. And actually, it's helping me learn Tune Lab because I'm watching my AccuTuner, which I've been using for 10 years. Tune Lab has three different things, and you're kind of like looking at them a little bit different. But you can see they're both stopping and the biggest thing is when you're learning something like this is to train your eye to know when that when it is right when it's when it's right sometimes it looks like it's still moving or it's back at doing the stuff but you gotta like learn the meter so i'm gonna keep going with this uh with this video for a little bit longer here so you can watch both of these um situations here we're on g on the a3 tuning the middle and then the right and then the left so I'm you'll hear that's what I'm doing too and this has
you notice, guys, I'm using auto step feature on both of these, so I'm not reaching up and having to touch them. That's very nice. Also, another thing you may notice if you're being real detailed is the AccuTuner is at negative is 5.9 cents sharp, and this is at 4.7 uh, cents sharp. These are not calibrated exactly, but I calibrated them uh, just by using an offset. Um, I think that they have to be calibrated better to, you know, if you were going to use them. In other words, their center pitch is about two cents off because uh, this is probably needed calibrated. I would probably calibrate my Tune Lab tuner to my Accu Tuner. So when I'm doing this, you can actually hear, you can hear and see things happening in the right time. So that's why I like to use both both of these just to show you. And you can you can hear the t unisons come into play, come together. You can also see them come together, and it's very good to to train your ear and eye together. Okay guys, so these two tunings I set up very separately, the, the, the stretches were done separately. So, uh, but I'm, I'm surprised that they're tracking very close, they're very close on, they may, they may deviate a little bit as I get to the high end or they, the lily are off in the low end. But the thing is, is um, I'm using both of these tuners to train my ear and eye as I'm looking at the, to see where the AccuTuner says it is and where the Tune Lab says it is and where my ear feels that it is and I can hear that. When you're starting to tune and you're using an ETD, you have to do a lot of that, L listening and looking, listening and looking, listening and looking, so that you understand what the tuner's telling you and what your ear is hearing. So that's all good, and I really do like Tune Lab just in my first initial uh, thing of it. Um, go back and watch the video and just see how the, the meters work, and you can kind of hear the unisons coming and going and see them kind of where they're stopping. You'll notice that with the AccuTuner and the Tune Lab that the, 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 the um, the notes don't, the lights don't ever actually almost stop. They kind of, it's like when they line up for a minute and stop, that's it. You know, when they start to stop right there and there's that m second, there's like a milli millisecond where they're going to go backwards, where you're going to go be flat. So the AccuTuner is like the two, it's spinning this way and then it kind of stops. And then it's, if you if you don't really stop it right there, then it starts to go back. So you, you, you got to find where you know that it's in tune, where you know that those lights are stopping. Uh, and that takes a little bit of practice, but 
overall when you look at them you can see it's very good visual so um, yeah let me know if you have any comments or if you want me to go into detail with any of these tuners and join me at apexpiano.com if you want to learn how to do this if you want to learn how to tune if you want to learn how to use all the techniques join me in my mentorship apexpiano.com